Okay, so super tight par four. What kind of club is it you want to hit from this tee position? Do you want a three wood? Do you want your driver? Do you want five wood? Or perhaps you want to consider one of these things. Wow, that is some ball flight. Sit down ball. Well, interestingly enough, the club I'm referring to is a club that I have never ever tried before in all the years I've been playing golf. So the first thing I need to do is ask a question. What club do you think I've got in my hands right now? So second part of the equation, we've hit the tee shot on the tight par four. We've then left ourselves a second shot, which is even tighter. What club do you want to reach for? 170 yards out. I'm going for this one. Right, come on. Oh my word, and keep coming, keep coming. That's two decent shots to start this video. This club is in fact a heavenwood. Now the interesting thing already about those first two shots is one of them I played at 200 yards or near about 200 yards and left myself 170 in and was able to adapt the club to play 170. So straight away, this thing's got a bit of versatility or playability, which is something I like in terms of versatility in your golf bag. Artillery's there, wasn't there? And to further demonstrate the versatility of a seven hybrid, we'll play a little bit of a dink with it. Slow down. I can't believe how good these greens are right now at Carden Park. They're super lively. But the question is, and the big question on everybody's lips, including the camera lady, are what is a heavenwood? And more importantly, What's the difference between a heavenwood and a sevenwood? Well, the answer is quite simple. I have absolutely no idea. Well, one thing I do know is there is a slight difference in terms of the loft. A heavenwood is 20 degrees, and if my memory is right in the same range of clubs, then a sevenwood is 21 degrees. But barring that one degree of difference in terms of loft, I have absolutely no idea why the two clubs exist in tandem, because head shape and profile Everything else, as far as I'm aware, sits exactly the same. But you know what? I just like the idea of having a club with the name Heavenwood in my bag. Don't ask me why. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Right, first real positive about the Callaway Paradigm Heavenwood is the way it looks at a dress. And there's two things I like. Oddly enough, I'm not overly keen on the crown of the driver in the Paradigm lineup, but I love it on the three wood. I like the thicker line that they've put in that um, front leading edge, if you like. There's the Callaway Chevron, which is a good, strong alignment aid. But I also like the white score lines that you will see in the club face. Because you see them at address, and because there's so much loft, 20 degrees, you see all of that loft at address. You see the score lines to centralize the ball with the chevron. But it's the loft again that increases the confidence levels for me as well, because what it just says mentally is this ball is gonna go up in the air. And I think compare that to a three wood where I'm thinking, I'm gonna to top this damn thing, and it's going to, or it's gonna go extremely low. That's a different mindset and most average golfers, which I keep saying, would be far more suited not only to the visual aspects in terms of confidence from the likes of a seven wood, in this case, or a heaven wood, but also the performance attributes that this thing is gonna do. Because so far we've seen two shots and what it does do is hit the ball extremely high. And there is one negative to that. And that being when you're playing in high wind as we are today and this hole that you've just seen that's playing 181 yards in many ways would be perfectly suited for this type of lofted club if the conditions were a lot different and we were playing in fairly still. The question is what happens now when we pop up a ball extremely high into the wind and that is of real interest. I don't know the answer yet but we'll soon find out. That's a solid strike. You can see that towering ball flight. And what I like about it is it could actually get there. And no, it hasn't got there. That really did stall. It was a really, really good solid strike. I think that's probably 20 yards short of our intended target. 
So one thing as a negative in this genre of clubs in general is they are very, very playable. They are very, very, uh, well, they have a lot of attributes that help, but there are a few negatives, and one of them being that high wind. But that would be the only negative because although we've come up a little bit short of our intended target due to the high winds that are up there, and believe me, these are really high winds, that is, like I said, the only negative that I can find in this style of club, let alone the performance of the Heavenwood. Kick up. Sit down now, ball. Because they far outweigh that one negative and that ability to pop that ball up is ridiculous. The ball flight on that one we've just played literally went up into orbit, as did the second ball that we played into the green. And what that does mean is they one, they're real positive in terms of helping people get that ball airborne, but two, they're coming into greens at such a good descent angle that they're always going to be stopping. So they're a versatile club that you can play off the tee on the tight par four. You can play them in as second shots. You can also play them into par threes, into greens. You can also play, as you've seen, in and around the greens on the fringes. So lots of positives to outweigh that only one negative I can see. But enough about Heavenwoods, Sevenwoods in general. What about the Callaway Paradigm version? If you have been watching the channel of late, then in general, my opinion on Paradigm Fairways has been really impressed, to be honest with you. Particularly the three woods, which I'm always sort of negative towards in terms of average golfers' bags because of that lack of loft. A bit more difficult to play and less versatility. The three woods, again, did one thing very, very well, and that's pop the ball up extremely high. We're seeing that exact same thing, but with 20 degrees worth of loft in a heavenwood, then obviously they're soaring into the skies. And I just think there's a reckon brands in general are recognizing that we need help at this end of the bag and there's so much more prominence and availability of the likes of seven woods and in this case heaven woods i'm not too sure what i am seeing different from a heaven wood than i would see from a seven wood to be quite honest with you um, but either way i love what this thing does now don't spoil it no i mean that's ridiculous wow I cannot tell you, I mean, obviously Shot Tracer will be picking that up, but I cannot tell you just how high that ball is going, which, like I said, potential negative when you're playing into the wind, but for most of us, a huge bonus. And I think if you're looking for help, particularly in that sort of six iron onwards, six, five, four, which we keep going on about, this thing picks the ball up so well, and the ball fight is ridiculously high. Absolutely love it. That ball is stopping on greens. I can play it from the tee box. I can play it from tight lies in and around the green and just get a chip and run going. It's blown a hoolie. I'm going to end it there because I don't think there's a great deal more I can tell you about this thing. Never hit a heavenwood in my life. Loved everything about it. Don't know how it differs from a sevenwood, but Callaway Paradigm Fairway Woods are very, very good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow night. Oh, and don't forget, follow us on Facebook, will you?